Hey everybody, sorry it took so long for us to uh, get back to this, but we had, uh, you know, classes and everything. Anyway, um, this is going to be just basically a cleanup video that checks out some of the stuff we missed along the way. Um, basically this path uh, where we don't get caught and we get this stuff here. As you can see, we actually did this once, but due to technical difficulties, we will not be able to use that particular run. Uh, we're going to try again and hopefully catch that on, on uh, recording. But it's actually kind of tough to do, I mean, you'd be surprised. And then we're going to go to this part here where, where we were trying to discover the location of the band. And we're going to get it wrong on purpose so that we can see what this is. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, spread out. And since we've already seen this part, where are we anyway? we're going to skip this beginning part. Um, you might want to... Alright, first thing we want to do is check out the map. The map! Okay, okay, key is over here. I'm gonna go to the right then. I actually want to go to this. Because there's a teleporter thing. Nearly got them now. Those normals will wish they never came to Dimension Q. I'm pretty sure they already do wish. Normals? Yeah, how, why did they come here now? You know why they oh, came shoot. here. Was that there a moment ago? Yes, that was always there. I have to go up this That's way. That's why I said you wanted to go to the right. And no. You're gonna go to the teleporter. Uh -oh. <laughs> this is gonna be the teleporter. Fire hydrants, Augie. Enough. <laughs> uh oh, I think I'm gonna regret this. Not if I can help it. <laughs> not bad. Oh, well, it's not what not I was expecting, but <laughs> okay. That could've been a lot worse. I must have a hair dryer attachment here somewhere. Now why would he assume that? Unless he's like Inspector Gadget over here. Kind of so we gotta get the of. key, then find the force field generator. Yeah, I think we know what to do. Okay, up. I'm not wait. Right. Actually, yeah. No, we can't. You can't go, go up. up. You want to go to the right. I'm assuming going up would just immediately get caught. Invisible pills. When you just want to get lost. That's Sometimes it, you just want to get lost. Take a couple of invisible I thought it should get laid for a moment. Mm -hmm. That would have been fun. thinking is. Bottle of invisible pills, please. I'm sorry, madam. That reminds me of the um, down here that box in, thing uh, from Eloy uh, Goes Like Zerk. Pills, you know? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, he puts yeah, a, like here, a bag oh, yeah, on his head. In the shop. Yeah. This guy's, you know, obviously wearing something like that. Whoa. I heard about a man who woke up invisible. What did his doctor say? I can't see you right now. Come back next week. Why would you? Why would you ask for his doctor? <laughs> because oh, crap. being invisible is a medical condition. I got stupid, and those were really okay. We did not last long. Okay, up into the. No, don't go to the left. By that point, the thing will be there. Go up. No. Yes, it will. You'll, it'll be on the street, coming towards you. We gotta check. Check the map, but do not try and go to it. If they're on I that think it's street. about time to try one of those decoys. Whatever you flip don't the do switch, decoy yet. I'll I'll set set it up. Decoy yet. We need to just figure out what's going on here. Yeah, so see, we can't if you do it, you'll we have go to go this way. But he's, there's a guy coming there too. I know. It's, you just it's got caught. Not yet. No. I don't think so. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, what do you call those things Rocky? from? Uh, um, if I apply yip, 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 from uh, Examine I don't know, Polyglot cadence, prosody, amplitude, intonation variation, and pitch. I can tell you that the they're talking gibberish. Exactly. Well, I happen to speak gibberish. If we could just get to one of those teleporters, we might I'm have sure, a chance. Uh, Google Translate has an option for that. It might. You're oh, caught. Correct. Yeah, we're caught. Um, we want to go. What happens if I just sit here? I don't know. You want to go to the... <laughs> I want to put a D... Oh. Uh -oh. Alright, here's what we're going to do, guys. Um, and this is something I should have mentioned before. We tried this... We tried recording this yesterday, and it took about... Uh, what, what do you think? Seven or eight tries? Something like that. We, we got it right on the first try, and then due to problems, we couldn't use it. Um, and then we tried again like seven or eight times and it just, it was not going to happen. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut this and we'll show you what it looks like when they get the key. 
and then we'll be cutting to the point where they get to the force field generator to shut it off. Um, so I will, uh, we will cut to that and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, we're gonna skip this because we've seen it before, but we should find the key here. There it is! Just what we need to disarm the force field generator. Now all we have to do is get there. If we could just get to one of those teleporters, we might have a chance. We're actually not going to use the teleporters. Check the map. Let's see if we can get there safely. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. To the right. Go to the right and go up, and we should take care of it. Okay. We, we, should, we shouldn't have to uh, skip the recording. Hey, Augie, you're clunky. Oh, what did you say? I can't yeah, what did he say? hear you. Or all this <laughs> you thought you were self-maintaining. What's with that? My self-maintenance program is a little, little buggy. Meaning? You sometimes have to give it a little, little thump to get it running. Ooh. Allow me. It would be an honor and a privilege to give you a good thump. Well, in the name of self-maintenance. <laughs> okay. Fanfic yeah. time. Uh, of course. So, uh... What am I watching in my... The chip is, is embedded cranial subcortical. On your noggin! My bonds! My nut! Your head! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, the, what they're saying is so many double on you wanted to think of it that time. way. <laughs> oh, this game is okay, map, quick. Let's map right quick. Okay, go up good. immediately. Alright, here we go. Alright, we made it. Got a message for you. Uh oh, kids are back. Hey, it's that Elroy kid. <laughs> yeah. What is this stuff? Ooh, it's nest. slime. No, it's whatever that stuff was from Nick. Uh, Nickelodeon <laughs> Gak. Yeah, oh, I remember that. You're welcome. Well, at least we made it to the transmitter for this infernal force field. Here's the key. Presto, we're free. Good work. Now let's jam it up and trap those nasty cubic pentameters inside. Do it. You mean outside? Um, inside the force field, I think. Uh, so apparently changing the light bulbs around is Brilliant. what makes it work. That should Ooh, what if one of them had been like halfway through? <laughs> that would have been nasty. I don't think they should have. And this game would have been rated M. Fishing chips in a vending machine. I'm gonna Ew. learn this human food eating business if it's the last oh, thing I Oh, see, he does do. put something in. Yeah. Why would they have squid? It's because they do. Squid? Must be like in Come Korea or something. Come near that thing and it will mm. be the last thing you do. Chips. That's it. Chips. Computer chips. They've got kill chips. <laughs> Brilliant. That Hooray so for plot contrivances. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, that's a pretty big leap in logic anyway, there. Let's see what's on this Q-chip dealie. It better be good. A special report for visitors, brought to you by... The DQ Chamber of Commerce! Hey, welcome to the wonderful world of audio-enriched living! Is that Jell-O? Something like Triangular, that. no, pyramidal Jell-O. Awesome. Q, our cheery citizens are no doubt enjoying another day of record pop. Why is this dude, they go like, their business. covered in musical stuff? So Doing your stand dimension to you enjoy... Oh yeah, exhilarating music! Demoting competition! Everybody wins. Simply Rome fabulous Rome. architecture. Except for everyone who's Top notch savage! Straight of the art! Doing! Doing! Transcends for rotation! John John! And don't forget that ever popular... Pop... Fizz! <laughs> Everyone's welcome in Dimension Q. It's more like a, Unless uh, medicine or you're an illegal alien like these folks, in which case, huh? watch out for the long arm of the law. It's apparently they have oh, a and one more thing: beware huh? those nasty oh. little street urchins. Well, I mean, look at this place. When they can come absolutely here? destroy be the than Constitution. Yeah, apparently. And I'd just like to say this has been a special broadcast from Dimension Q, and Dimension Q. He's not a crook. Oh, so Nick's thing lives here. <laughs> so we've got to find Pop Fizz. Let's yeah, that try it. Let's try it. Okay. Pop Fizz. Now let's hope they have the goods. Yeah. Or it's meltdown time. 
Lunch for two? There's a booth there. Seat yourselves. Actually, so, uh, we just want a drink of water. Uh-uh, no. See, it's lunch time, Ms. That's why you have to eat. You can't just order drinks, you have to eat. See how that works? Uh, I've okay, had waiters like really... these. <laughs> I'll be back. Sounds good to me. What a mess. Such great service here. Although I must say, it smells oh, pretty good. Oh, that's lovely. I wouldn't eat that if I were you. Why would you just... I'm so hungry. She's pretty Regular stupid. spectral analysis confirms a positive affirmation <laughs> okay. of animal genetic configurations. Yeah. Ooh, random pile of goo on, the, on the, the booth of the this restaurant. Is I'm gonna taste agent it. One. Yuck. I'm not what that hungry. Jackass? <laughs> well, that must be his briefcase. Use your ultra cam and check out what's inside. Good thinking. Is what? Ultra cam? Yeah. Just some anti-solidifying powder and a pop. Fizz coupon. Score. That's oh, exactly what see. we need. I'll just pry this There's thing open. There. So now That's we know what's in there. It's probably booby trapped. Oh yeah, right. Why didn't I think of that? Boy, oh, do I feel you're not very smart, neither of you are. So you see that sign back there? Intake pop fizz. We've got to Input. get you some pop fizz by 103. 103, mm, exactly. Up, like that guy. <laughs> pop fizz, please. Sorry, we just sold out. And like I said before, you have to order food. Flag me when you're ready, and make it by 103, or I'll sick the cops on you for loitering. This guy is the best employee yeah. wow. at this restaurant. He's the manager, so, you know. Yeah, a couple of aliens. I heard there's a big reward for whoever catches them. Uh-oh. Now we're in for it. Reward? <laughs> Fully paid lessons at Madame Timp's Piano and Poodle with free poodle trim. Yep, that's huh. worth it. That's all we need. I'm fading fast. Oh, I don't have a poodle. I can't even get up. Oh, they don't want a poodle here. trim. I need your help. Probably gonna make their hair. <laughs> you can count on me. And then, thanks to my condition, you're gonna have to carry out the plan on your own. Okay, let's do it. I'll call out the things we need to do. Oh, this kind of neat. You put them up on the screen. It's like a sure thing. Connecting to the internet thing. We this is what it should have been. Nope, instead of like somebody dots. And I'll need pop fizz by then too. We'll have to get into the briefcase to get the pop fizz coupon and the super catalyst powder. Oh, and running away. We have to pick the right time to do that. And somehow, we have to distract those police so we can get past them. Now give me a timeline. Voila. And one last thing. I'm gonna need that vial of Time Stopper gas you always carry around with you. Because he just has that, apparently. That doesn't look like it. Don't yeah. forget, is we've got to stay inside this force field until we deactivate the gas. Or we'll be frozen in time, just like everyone else in here. Oh, that's Where why they, uh... If Time Stopper gas works properly... Uh, I was just thinking, if it's atmosphere. gonna work like that, time should stop that's how they, uh, meant to stay unfrozen. They're inside of a force field. Nicely done. Okay, now I have to place all these events in the right sequence so that we can get them all done by 103. And I'll just try to... We can't open the case till we get the authorization from the agency. Agency rule. Thanks for the tip. Oh, this is tougher than I thought. Click on the icons for more information if you need it. When you're done, just click on the Time Stopper icon in the lower right corner, and I'll deactivate the gas and carry out the sequence. Okay, here goes. <laughs> it's a stopwatch, but we're gonna go okay. on time stopper. No, yeah, we've wasn't there a movie like that, Time Clock Stopper or something? Anyway, we'll um, have to watch. I haven't seen it in a long time. Anyway, um, so here's the thing: what, what we're gonna do because this puzzle we've tried it before, and it's actually pretty. It seemed pretty tough. It, maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna try it once through. If we don't get it right on this try, then we're gonna try it again, and we'll cut to the point where we get the right combination. Um, okay, so let's get started. We know that the goo has a really long time span, so it can only go in one of these three spots. We we know you have to open that first, although let's click on that. 15 seconds. 15 seconds to combine the ingredients. Wait. We need this, don't we? Well, that's what you get from the drink. the case, right? Isn't that that, doesn't that look like that stuff that was in the case? Yeah. Hmm. But that can happen later. Okay. 
We tried. We actually tried this before. When we tried it, we tried to order food, Black and, and he didn't let us order food. Fifteen seconds. Two minutes. Fifteen seconds. So are they saying that this little thing right here is two minutes and thirty seconds? Apparently. I mean, I'm I'm trying to understand how that's. Okay. And getting what we couldn't see. We had to order food before we could. And click on the dress in disguise real quick. Go behind the counter. Wait to and serve food to the cubes. Uh -huh. So it changed it to one. One o'clock. So it has to be after one. Go behind. So 30 seconds before that, go behind and wait for the shift change. After one minute, change clothes, get food, and go to the cubes table. So that tells, that tells you something here. This, I, I understand so this how this is right No, 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 no. 30 seconds before. Each one of those blocks is 15 seconds. So like that, then. Yes. So. So. Shift. No, I don't know if you can order your food yet. Well, we gotta have something here. If there's a space like that, then one of these is the only one. Or we could do that. Wait, is it 15 seconds? Yeah, it's 15 seconds. Okay. It's gotta be. We could do that here. I suppose. Okay, check on the order. We could order food. food. Once ordered, it takes two minutes for the waiter to bring the food. All diners must be seated when the food is served. If not, the suspicious waiter will sound an alarm. Okay, well, at this point, we, she would be up, wouldn't it? Yeah. We could open the briefcase, order food in between then. But well, we can't distract... Why would we want to distract them right before we run, right? Uh, we'll see what that entails. Click on the distract. Throw pepper and quill pilot. Throw pepper in their faces and return... Oh, and she returns to the table. Uh... They float to the ceiling. What? And then. Oh, okay. No longer distracted. Um, hmm. And all of that took two minutes. So thirty seconds there, a minute here. Okay. Um. It sounds like she wants to do that immediately after going to their table, because then she sits back down, and then they order food. And okay. Let's, let's try that. Okay. Let's try it. Let's let's deal with that gelatinous blob. Which one will it be? A joke, more pineapple. And I believe we remember from the uh, early on in the game it was pineapple. A pineapple. Just kind of remember that for some One reason. One French fry, a splash of ketchup, a bit of pineapple, and. Probably. Oh, okay. Now on to the next assignment. So this gelatinous blob must have some to lock mechanism to derive the red tumbler combination. Oh, seems to be going okay so far. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. <laughs> what the? Oh. Ooh. Excuse me. Pardon me. What? That was a lot farther than we ever got before uh, trying this puzzle. That I said to her, if I promise to snore in a higher pitch, would you love me then? Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, you are not our waitress, huh? I'm... <clears throat> I'm filling in for Marge. She's not well. Sorry to hear that. She asked me to send you a little message. At least they're concerned. Because he just has a pepper cannon. It's going good so far. <laughs> I don't what? get it. Why are they floating to the... It said they would, but I still don't get why. Because it's like Mary Poppins watching. Apparently. If you laugh too much, you go float to the ceiling. Where? <laughs> okay, what'll it be? Percussive pizza with sonic dried tomatoes for her. And for me, sonic dried tomatoes. humming burger with mm. flugelhorn fries. Uh-uh. Sounds off right. key. Now I gotta blow, sweetie, eedy, eedy, oh, 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 oh. Now I'll just call the agency. I get it. You didn't, you didn't necessarily have to bring any food. I guess not. Your authorization code is Oily Whip. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Is what? Oily Whip. Gross. Uh-oh. We don't have any anti-solidifying powder. Oops. No. Now for the briefcase. 
Oily web. There. But well, we weren't able to save him, but maybe we can still. Time to run! You'll have to carry me. <laughs> Out into that truck. Oh wait, I do that. Guess that works. Pop this, please. <laughs> no, I don't know if we have any. I can't give you that. <laughs> she doesn't look well. I know she's like being de-animized or whatever Thanks. it was, but. De uh, deconstituted or something. I never would have made it without you, Augie. I don't know if that oh, works or not. It was nothing. Okay. You made all the decisions. I just carried you them just out. You just still didn't save. Thanks, just the same. Anytime. I, you know what, though? I'm picking up another message from the no. agency. Scrambled? No. It seems to be okay. We managed to scramble an old message from Agent One. It may help. It you know, I'm actually thinking now. Fine, Cosmo LaRue. Yeah, see, this is leads to the next part, which is fine. Well, that's fine. Well, hold on. Before we do that, though, because we don't, we've already shown that. We lost Agent One. I'm wondering if we could have maybe saved him. And remember how the ending of the game just didn't make any sense? It just kind of ended, mm -hmm. but we'd only rescued four of the five agents. I wonder if we rescue him and then play through the rest of the game as normal, if, uh, if we might get, like, a better ending. I want to actually try that. Um, we're gonna, we're not gonna show up, but we're gonna, well, we could we show We won't show it. the puzzle as well. We, we won't show the, we won't show it. Well, no. Yeah, you know what, we will show it. Okay, we're, we're gonna cut to that. Sorry, it's just a we second. We won't, we will, we won't, we will, we will! <laughs> we just, yeah, we, we're just unpredictable. Okay, we'll cut to that in just a second. Okay, I think we might have found the right sequence. Let's go ahead and try this. Attaching combo randomizer to lock mechanism to derive correct tumbler combination. And, uh, all that other techno babble as well. Yeah. Let's deal with that gelatinous I hope that worked. Mm -hmm. Which one will it be? Artichoke or pineapple? Both are good, but pineapple's better. I like artichoke. You know, I haven't had an artichoke. A pineapple. Like, just take the leaves and scrape it in, like, some mm. mayonnaise one and just eat that. I haven't done that in a long time. A splash of ketchup, a bit of pineapple, and... Now it's making me hungry. <laughs> You're gonna make a mess. As if a giant glob of goo wasn't already a mess. But even still. Perfect. And suddenly, a weird crystalline thing assignment. again. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. I don't get why they threw them in Excuse the me. air. Pardon me. They were surprised. Hmm. Obviously. We're definitely Very making real. progress on this. Um, um, um. That I said to her. If I promised to snore in a higher pitch, would you love me then? Um. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> hey, you are not our waitress, huh? I'm. I'm not a waitress. I'm filling huh? in for Mark. She's not. Oh, well. hi, Mark. My mouth is moving like an old Japanese animated. She asked uh, me to yeah, send okay, you a little message. Oh, hi, Augie. Yeah. <laughs> and again with the pepper cannon. Hello, Augie. How are you today? Uh, What's your sex life? That's none of that. I actually don't want to answer that question. <laughs> Like now I'll just call the agency and get the authorization code. Yeah, see, this happened after the other, that other time. Your authorization code is Oily Whip. Thank you for calling. Oily Whip. So they don't change the code. I guess not. Okay, what'll it be? Percussive pizza with. Sonic dried tomatoes for her, hmm. and for me, hmm. hummingburger with fugu horn fries. Everything's uh, absolutely related. Really now I gotta yeah. blow, sweetie, eaty, eaty, oh, 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 oh. Now for the briefcase, Oily Web. There. Yeah, see, pretty sure we got, we got it. In a different order. Well, there's not much left if it doesn't work. Mm mm, that'll make it taste just well. Yeah. But you, I love to add pepper to things, but I don't think I've added to pineapple jello. Thank you for resuscitating me. That's stage one. Find the pro. Find so. Cosmo LaRue. Oh, oh. He's barely alive. I better and digitize him. Maybe we can revive him digitize when we get back him. to normal. Now for the launch code. Blue wire to socket D. Mock and activate with switch two. Time to run! 
Oh, that's You'll right. The, the launch codes, that was the missing one because we didn't, which we could figure out through the process of elimination, but I didn't realize that you could actually find this guy. <laughs> so this is becoming interesting again. <laughs> we might have to replay the ending to see if we get a better ending now that we've gotten all five of the agents. Yeah. That doesn't sound like swallowing. It was fizzing. Like Alcatel too. Yeah, so that doesn't sound like anything. I never without you, Augie. Aw, oh, it was nothing. You made all the decisions, I just carried them out. Thanks just the same. Anytime. We better get going on the clue Agent One gave us. Okay. This guy again. Yeah, this guy was funny. Um, Search. Here's the thing, though. We're not going to do that, because now, notice how... No matter what we do, it's it's keeping our progress. So now we've saved all five agents. So let's skip Cosmo for now. Go straight to this part. Screw it up so that we can see what this part is. Why those? I'm picking up another agency transmission. I've got some bad skip? news for you, Rookies. Yes. Okay, yeah. but if I find the right. All right. So there is a very small chance that we'll immediately click the correct option. Hopefully that won't happen. So. We think it's the log shed. Yes. This is the right place, all right. I don't think so. <laughs> Escape. <laughs> we have to play the birthday song again? Yeah, we're gonna do it, do it, do it. I'll be back in 90 seconds. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in 90 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh, it's a block puzzle. Your wheel is on I like those. Foot. I want to see what kind of puzzle they give us. Well, That's judging by that, I have some idea that it's probably going to be just How are we going to get out of here? I can't see a thing. But your supersonic hearing works perfectly well, right? I have the finest acoustic tomography equipment available. I'll take that as a yes. Can this is going to be like a... analyze the strength of these walls? Maybe we can blast them out with a low-frequency sound wave. <laughs> Each wall consists of 25 magnetite bricks. They hold each other up electromagnetically. If we choose the right 12 to blast out so that those left don't touch the sides of any others, then the unsupported ones should pop out easily. I'll choose. Then you'll be the Sounds master like an interesting blaster. puzzle. The guard said That's he'd be back blaster. in just 90 seconds to check on us. That leaves us 30 seconds. Here goes. And you have to solve it in, holy crap, you have to solve it in 30 seconds. Uh, okay. That one, those two will fall if you do that one. And that one. Here? Yeah. It's, I, it, I don't know. Like that? I don't think so, because then you need every other... Uh, I'm totally doing this wrong. <laughs> okay, just try that, fine. Put another one here if you can, and then up there. There, so now let's check try it. Pattern. Let's do it. Blast away. They didn't say how many you can blast. Well? Oh, that was incredibly easy. Well, it only gave you 30 seconds and the game was designed for 10 year olds, so I guess that makes sense. I, I don't know, I was expecting Check something a little more screen. challenging than that. The probes are playing at this theater. And look at the date. That's tonight. Oh, God. Uh, it goes oh, to God. That person no, again. no. No, no. We don't want to trust anyone because we know it's that tall dude over there. It does make me wonder what clicking the other guys would do, but I'm not gonna. We don't need to do that. Wait, what? I think you already did escape again. No, oh, because. Oh. Well, either way, you did it, so. Okay, well, that works, I guess. Yeah, um, and if you guys remember in this one, be able to keep me in here. if you guys remember in this one she was okay. drowning, let's move on before Cosmo, in order to get this, save your breath is, you have ten minutes, I'll have you on dry ground in no time, here's what we're gonna do, I'm curious to see what happens if she drowns or whatever, you know, whatever happens, so here's what we'll do, we'll cut this and we'll show up again right before it happens, and you know, just show you guys that since we're on a roll here. See you guys in just a second. You're going to witness a drowning. 
Hey everyone, we're back. Uh, sorry we didn't show you what ends up happening when you when she drowns. It's really not that interesting. All that happens is it's, it cuts to the agency saying we basically lost her. Like um, it always does. Yeah. So we cut to the very end to see if maybe now that we've rescued all five agents, if that changes the ending, and we put in the launch code and everything. So now we're going to launch it. Let's do it. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Got him. So exciting. <laughs> Looks like it worked. Ooh, like ripping the pieces. Turn on. Uh, they did get his arm, that would be Ow. Really cool. I don't recall if this was different from the ending we had. I think that was all pretty much the same. Well, we'll just go ahead and watch the ending again and see if it changes, because remember previously it's like Isaac disappeared for no reason and just BAM, the end. Hopefully this time we'll get a little more, uh, something better than you that. You guys seem to be enjoying it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry to anyone who might have, uh, epilepsy or don't, doesn't like looking at randomly flashing colors. <laughs> Because apparently the makers that uh, here at Expo would have really love that kind of stuff. The music is so weird. I wouldn't go to them. Uh, something else is supposed to happen, right? Is this what repeating? No. Maybe maybe not. No. There we go. Okay. I was just say, is it just gonna play forever and that's our engine? Hey, <laughs> congratulations, Boogie Gravy. The contract uh, is yours. Sir, your just mouth is on the side of your mind. face. Thanks it's for giving weird. us a second chance. Just saying. Hey, don't mention it. You I want like huge. one of those keyboard things she has with the, you know. Cosmo okay, now we're back at the DLA. The or whatever. To steal music and make himself rich and famous in Dimension Q. That's why our first audition went so poorly. He was holding me because I was the only one who could operate the probe. And he threatened to hijack our music if <laughs> Isaac didn't help well. him. Mm -hmm. Eventually, mm -hmm. Cosmo broke our deal and stole Iz and Augie's music. But one of Cosmo's cronies figured out how to wire my brain directly into the probe's computer. That's when Isaac refused to operate the <laughs> you know, probe anymore. Hobby, yeah. And you two arrived mm -hmm. just in time. The Nick of time. time. Congratulations on a superb mission. Now for your next assignment. Wait just a minute. Who said anything about another assignment? Isaac? Okay, Isaac! he still disappears. Nope. And we just get a weird ending. Okay, well. At least now we can say that we've rescued all the agents. Okay, well we rescued every everything. agent we've seen just about everything, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay, alright. Here's what we'll do then. That's going to be the end of this and the end of the Let's Play. Um, if anybody who knows this game really well can explain um, if there's something else we missed or what if that's really the ending, if that's supposed to happen, or if there's anything else you know, in regards to the ending that would make any of that make more sense, uh, please do you know, post a comment or you can send us a PM or something. Uh, but yeah, let us know, because that's just Isaac! weird. Isaac! Isaac, again. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. But that's the end. Hope you had fun watching that. And um, we'll see you again in the future. Bye for now. Goodbye, folks.